Hey guys, what is going on? It is iAppleGeek3 and today I am back with another list of awesome Cydia tweaks that I want to show off. So this is another top 10 tweaks list for iOS 9.3.3. Some of these tweaks are going to be purely aesthetic and others purely functional. So no matter which you prefer, I think you're going to like this list. If you're on iOS 10, I feel bad for you because you can't try out these tweaks until a jailbreak for iOS 10 is released. And as soon as it is released, I will be sure to put it on this channel. So the first tweak on this list is a tweak called Sleek Code. What this does is it modifies the password menu on your device. So when you swipe over, it's going to have this blurred look. Of course, you can customize this in the Sleek Code settings panel. You can customize many things like the blur, like the color. You can customize the button ring, button animation and you can hide junk like the grabbers and you can hide the date hide the time if you want to hide the battery pop-up I mean there's just so much customization so go check this one out as you may have already noticed there is a little red ring around my toggles in the settings app you may be wondering why this is thanks to a tweak called color switches this will give you the ability to customize your toggles inside of the settings app and many other apps as well. I believe this is system wide. Under the settings panel there is a giant color selector and you can scrub your finger through here, find a color you like, or even enter the hex code and then you can have a customized switcher after you respring. You can also customize what the switch looks like when you have it off. And if I go back and respring my device my toggles will look like this now. Next on the list is Phantom for Snapchat. What this does is allows you to supercharge your Snapchat application, allowing you to upload photos, save photos, and even view conversations without the other person knowing. And so much more. You can go ahead and view the settings for this tweak by going to the Snapchat settings and Phantom configuration. And in here, you can see all the things that Phantom can do and you can customize this to your liking. So if you use Snapchat, I would definitely recommend getting this tweak. Next up, we have a tweak called photo size. What this allows you to do is see how big each individual picture is. So when you tap on the select button in the photos app, right up where you see an item counter, there will now be a space counter and it will show you how many megabytes of pictures or videos you have selected. Next up, we have a no duh tweak. This is called date in status bar and it simply adds the date next to your clock in the status bar. No duh. Next up, we have another volume bar replacement called Sonus. This is a highly customizable replacement for your volume heads up display. So you can customize what color it is, what background it has, its size and position. So this tweak is miles more customizable than Status Vault X and it is compatible with a lot more status bar tweaks such as date and status bar. So Sonus, be sure to go check this one out. This tweak is still in development so I imagine it will be so much better in the future. Next up is for those of you who have friends that love to spam you. 3D Touch to clear notifications allows you to clear all notifications by 3D touching in the notification center. That was way too many notifications in that sentence. This also happens to be another no duh tweak. Big Shot JB allows you to take a full screenshot of whatever page you're looking at in a variety of applications. This won't work in all apps, but it does work on most apps. As you guys can see here, Big Shot was saved. And you can trigger this by setting an activator gesture. And when we take a look at the screenshot taken, it is extended. Next up, we have a tweak called Custom NC. This allows you to customize your notification center to hide some junk and also to extend functionality. As you guys can see here, when I swipe down, my notification center is clean. So when compared to my iPod Touch 6 generation here on iOS 9, you can see I don't have those ugly bars at the top. In my opinion, this is an essential jailbreak tweak to have. And switching to my iPod Touch, I'm going to show you my last tweak called Lock Beam. This allows you to set a gesture on the lock screen that you can tap anywhere on the screen to enable the flashlight. That way you don't have to pull up to Control Center to turn on your flashlight. So this is like a flashlight shortcut on your lock screen. And in the settings, you can customize how many taps it takes to activate the flashlight. This is a great tweak to add functionality to your lock screen. I know I said that was going to be the last, but welcome to the bonus tweak segment. So the first one I want to show you guys is called Pal Break. This is going to allow you to use PayPal on your device without having it crash because it knows you're jailbroken. So Pal Break will fix your PayPal application if you use PayPal on your device. 
Send delay will stop an outgoing message inside of iMessages in case you made a typo or if you said something horribly wrong to the other person. So this could be a lifesaver. iOS 9 added a new back button for when you are switching between applications. However, this would often block the Wi-Fi signal or LTE signal. Breadcrumbs 10 fixes that. It basically ports the new look from iOS 10 which keeps the Wi-Fi signal or LTE signal in your status bar while you're in your second application. Alright you guys, that is all the tweaks I have for you in this video. Last time I asked for 25 likes, can we go for 100 likes on this video? I know some of y'all are gonna be thirsty for my wallpaper, so go check out my Twitter page. There will be a link in the description. I will have the wallpaper I used in this video there on my Twitter. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and consider joining the Geek Squad Nation. Anyways guys, until next time, peace.